In today's video, I'll be showing you how to achieve ultra photo realistic generations with Mid Journey version 5 and automate the process using ChatGPT. All of the images you're seeing on the screen now were all produced using this method. Best of all, it's very simple to do and often just requires one change to your prompt. So let's get straight into it and see what we can do. So the first thing you'll need is knowledge on photographic film types, or if you're unsure, just bring up a list of them all from a website like Wikipedia. The link for this page will be in the description. The great thing about this page is it tells you if the film was black and white or colour. If you see CL41, it's colour film. It also gives you use case samples to help you choose the best option for your generation. If you would rather automate the process, you can head over to ChatGPT and ask it to provide a list of photographic film types. The good thing about this is you can tweak your list to include just colour or just films from certain periods of time like 1980s to 1995 for example. It can take a while for ChatGPT to produce this list depending on how in-depth it chooses to make the list for you. But for me I used ChatGPT version 4 and that automatically separated the films based on type and colour too which was very handy to have. So while that works in the background I'm going to copy and paste a prompt and use one of the film types from the Wikipedia page to see what results we are able to get. I'm going to try the Revolog 600nm film which is showing as a colour producing film which is what I want to achieve with my generation. So I'm just going to add a line saying taken with the Revolog 600nm film to my prompt just after the lens type which in this case is 50 millimeters, and hit enter to see what mid-journey produces for us. And what it has produced looks stunning to me to be honest. The facial details and street-like photography feeling has come out amazingly well. Mid-journey version 5 does a great job already for realism but adding film types just takes them to another level. And you can see from the upscaled versions that the details really are really well generated and even details like the fibres from his coat with the light shining through them is quite astonishing. I'm not someone who knows much about film types but I can imagine if you are you'd have so much fun with this method getting the perfect look for your work. But it's not just people this works with. You can use this same method with animals and nature photography. So let's try a Pride of Lions, side view, golden hour, add the word National Geographic as a style. And let's choose a film type from the Wikipedia list. In this case, since I really liked the output from earlier, I'll choose the Revolog 600nm again, as I feel it will work well with nature photography. Once again, the results are amazing. If I saw these images on television, a magazine cover or on social media, I wouldn't for a moment feel they were AI generated with Mid Journey. So why not give it a go and see what you can produce? Links to the Wikipedia page and my formulas used for ChatGPT are all in the video description below. Feel free to copy and paste those and use them however you wish. Thank you for watching my video. I am again humbled by the support you have all given me. Best wishes and I'll see you in the next video.